my sister-in-law, uh, who's half black, half white, but looks white, blue eyes, whiter than most white folks, very white. Uh, she and I, you know, we kind of grew up together. We raised our children together. Uh, so they're first cousins. And we, you know, it's a wonderful, very, very multicultural family. So we're going in a safe way one day. And um, Kathleen, my, my sister-in-law, is in front of me. And she's, uh, you know, writing a check for her groceries. Now, my daughter, who at the time was 10 years old, was standing with me. And I was directly behind her you know, getting ready to get my groceries. So Kathleen comes up, and the checker, who is a strawberry blonde, um, freckled, very delightful, warm, um, you know, the checker, this young woman, is talking to Kathleen. Hey, how you doing? Isn't it a nice day today? They're just chatting up. And she says, yes. Yeah. So Kathy writes her, her check, and she steps off to the side with her groceries because she's waiting for me. Of course, again, Kathleen looks white, right? So I come up. No conversation. She looks up at me absolutely no, just a little chatter. And uh, I write my check. My daughter, however, is 10, notices immediately the difference in how she responds to me. So I write my check, and she goes, I'm going to need two pieces of ID. At which point, my daughter looks at me, and she gets very, very embarrassed, and tears are, are, are kind of coming up in her eye, like, Mommy, you're not going to let her do this. Why is she doing this to us, right? So I'm trying to figure out what I should do, because behind me are two elderly white women, right? And I'm thinking, OK, so then I become the angry black woman, right? And they're going to be. And I just, I'm, I'm just trying to second guess all the drama. So then I, I just give her the two pieces of ID. I said, you know, some things, you got to choose your battles, right? And then it gets worse. She pulls out the bad check book, right? So the, this is the book that shows the people who have written bad checks. So she starts searching for my license in the bad checks, at which point it's just out of control now. Just as I'm standing there um, trying to decide what to do, and it's really deeply humiliating, now my, my daughter is in full-blown emotionally upset, who's 10, my sister-in-law walks back over. And she steps in and she says, excuse me, why are you doing this? And the checker goes, well, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? She goes, why are you taking her through all of these changes? Why are you doing that? She goes, well, um, this is our policy. She goes, no, it's not your policy, because you didn't do that with me. Oh, well, I know you. You've been. She goes, no, no, she's been here for years. I've only lived here for three months. And so at this point, the two white elderly ladies go, oh, I can't believe what this checker has done with this woman. And it's totally unacceptable. At which point, the manager walks over. So the manager walks over and says, is there a problem here? And then my sister-in-law again responds. She goes, yes, there is a problem here. Here is what happened. So you see, she used her white privilege. And even though Kathleen is half black and half white, she recognizes what that means. And she made the statement. She pointed out the injustice. And she, as a result of that one act, influenced everyone in that space. But what would have happened? I can't know for certain had the black woman said, this is unfair. Why are you doing this to me? Would it have had the same impact? But Kathleen knew that she walked through the world differently than I did. And she used her white privilege to educate and make right a situation that was wrong. That's what you can do every single day.